Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you my weekly review. Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here, meeting my icon, Catherine Isabel here. Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you another weekly review of Riverdale on the CW. This week we've seen Season 2, Episode 13, which was called Chapter 26, The Telltale Heart. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So, yeah, another week, another episode of Riverdale I enjoyed. I know a lot of people seem to be complaining about this season, but... Yeah, I don't know if it's superior to the first, you know, just because it's had, it has a longer episode order, so I do have to kind of you know, stretch things out just a bit. But I'm not bored with it, you know, I'm not bored with the pacing or the story, I think it's still found a decent uh, niche for it, um, or a middle ground with uh, how to spread things out, I guess. Um, before I get into it, though, I uh, got a new Riverdale shirt from Hot Topic, which is really cool. Of course, uh, it's mainly the season two main promotional image. You know, outside Pop Stein there. Of course, you got Veronica, Jughead, Josie, Cheryl, Kevin, Betty, and Archie, of course. So yeah, I just want to show that really quick. Um, I hope to get more Riverdale merch, but this is my first shirt, and uh, yeah. So yeah, I like this week's episode. Um, I like that uh, FP got such a role in it. It's good that Skeet Ulrich has, uh, you know, become a series regular, you know, starting this season. It's good to see him a lot here. Uh, and the Betty stuff is still kind of the weaker part of the show for me right now, just because I, I'm just so mixed on her as a character. Um, but this week's, I think, was definitely one of the better ones for it. Uh, probably helped that, again, Jughead and uh, FP were brought into it. <laughs> Um, of course, after Chick had, uh, you know, killed the dealer, it turns out to be a drug dealer that showed up at, you know, the house, um, there, he tried to dispose of the body, they basically hid it in, like, a empty sewer kind of thing, um, what ends up happening is they, uh, they keep being paranoid over it, especially Betty, um, you know, she's looking through the guy's phone, and he has, like, over 40 missed calls, um, yeah, he seemed like a pretty, uh, low-life douche, um, but he still does have all these weird connections and stuff like that, like an angry girl friend who suspected him of cheating and stuff like that. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, meanwhile, Hal comes by and he sees, uh, the play Ari, or he gets there and the place smells of bleach because they're cleaning the blood and everything, so he suspects something. Meanwhile, he's uh, one of Penelope, uh, Penelope Blossom's clients, to, much to Cheryl's uh, dismay. We do see some of Cheryl's archery skills, though, which is really cool. Um, I like that Cheryl has become just a bit more caring this season. Uh, of course, she still has her front that she puts up, but you know the way she talks to Betty sometimes, you can tell she's a little more open, at least to them. Um, you know, so I like, uh, like I said, I like FP and Jughead helping out. I like that uh, Betty brought them into it. And Skeet Ulrich really did a great job of, uh, you know, showing uh, the anguish that FP went through, you know, taking care of another body after everything. Um, really good acting from him. And that hand touch with uh, Alice and FP, I think, uh, I think was a nice touch. And we know they've had some kind of history together, you know, way back when. Um, some people even think, um, Chick is FP's son. I, I don't know, I don't know about that one, but, um, I think he'd be a little bit different if he was, but, again, I don't know. But either way, I, I am excited for him to explore the Alice and FP thing. Maybe FP will get to, you know, slug Hal at some point or something, which would be cool. Um, I definitely don't mind them going in an Alice and FP direction. I think they will, too. Um, so I like how close and how, uh, the camaraderie of FP and Jughead, it's great. 
Um, really, really great father-son relationship on the show, I think. That's developed so well. Um, like I said, I think FP is actually the most well-developed character in the series. And I like uh, sit down with him and Hiram, you know, trying to, you know, work things out. Um, you know, they make some kind of deal, but uh, Jughead's able to swoop it so Hiram doesn't, you know, kind of pull, you know, pull fast, like you could say, or try and manipulate the situation just a little bit more. And you could tell that FP uh, got a kick out of Jughead, you know, sticking it to him or, you know, figuring it out and threading it in a certain way before Hiram could. Um, so I like that. That was definitely intense. Uh, I actually felt nervous in a weird way when FP and Hiram were sitting across from each other. You know, it was just, it was just really interesting for sure. Um, and of course, Veronica, you know, she's uh, just growing more worried about her dad, you know, wondering if he's actually a good person, if he actually cares. Archie's trying to reassure her. He He's trying to believe he's a good guy despite everything he pulls, you know, with uh, whatever type of organization he's, you know, running. Um, but, you know, I do think there is good in Hiram. I mean, he's, not, he's obviously not a great person, but I do think he does care about Veronica. Um, so I'm interested to see how much further that goes. Um, he's definitely not an outright villain. Uh, but it turns out the uh, FBI agent that is supposedly trying to get Archie to get, you know, feed him information is actually a plant by uh, Hermione and Hiram. Although it's odd that we just seen Hermione telling Archie about it at the end, you know, uh, big scene at the cliff and everything, which is shot pretty well, by the way. Um, so I wonder if uh, Hermione does sort of pull some things uh, without Hiram knowing. Because um, Hiram kind of approached it a different way when uh, um, Archie told him about it. Although at the same time, it would be hard to believe if Hiram didn't know about it. So, yeah, I think he probably did. Um, so yeah, you had some good stuff there. A lot of, actually a lot going on in this episode. I liked it a lot. Um, and if I had to rate it, I think I actually liked it more than last week's episode. Uh, and I, I enjoyed last week's episode quite a bit. Rated last week's about 9.2, 9.3, so I'm at least giving this one a 9.3. Um, slightly on the higher end for it. So yeah, I know there's more about this episode, but I'm kind of in the middle of, uh, you know, day right now, so uh, I did enjoy it. If there's anything else on the episode you want to discuss, feel free to below. I'd love to talk more about Riverdale. Always enjoy it. So yeah, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.